<laughs> I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars, Aquarius. Now let's have a look at your personal um, chart for July. So most of the month, Venus, the planet of love and money, is going to be in your seventh house. So this is all around relationships and partnerships. So it's a positive time for you to meet someone or for couples just to put some extra attention on your love life. Some of you could actually take a relationship into a more uh, permanent situation as well. So this is a good time to do that. Although let's not forget that Mercury is retrograde also at the moment. So uh, right through most of the month, right through into the 24th. So you want to be a little bit careful of mix-ups and particularly on a communication level with Mercury retrograde. But it is a good month to focus your attention on your love life. Now the first two weeks, um, you can have like a connection with, with someone that all oh, is out of the blue, but you want to make sure that you see the whole person. You know, let's not forget that, you know, when you have that sort of real connection, you can sort of get a little bit infatuated sometimes with the person. And, and everybody has what I call irresistible and irritating traits. So, you know, when you just focus on the irresistible, don't forget that sometime down the track, uh, some of those irritating traits are likely to surface. So you want to just keep that in mind and keep a relationship in balance, okay? Now, your professional life, a cautious business planet, Saturn, in your 10th house, right there in your career zone, has been, has been retrograde. It's going to come out of that transit this month on the 8th. Hooray! Um, so it's going to make life seem as if it's just going to flow a little more readily. Let's keep in mind Mercury retrograde still, but certainly you can start to get things together and see that there's light at the end of the tunnel and things can start to, you know, go forward. You'll feel as if the handbrakes come off a little bit or um, projects that perhaps have been put on the back burner can, you know, just come up to be looked at again. So Venus is going to move to your second house, which is all to do with love and money, but it's also it's a very much a financial area of your chart in the third week of the month. So this is going to be good for you to connect with people, particularly around finances. Now this area of your chart is also very much to do with your self-worth. Okay, so you want to make sure that you feel worthy of um, attracting whatever it is to your life that you want, okay? And that's very, very important. So if your self-confidence has taken a hit lately over something, you want to renew that. Write down a list of all the great things about yourself. Ask your friends and really get feel worthy that you uh, deserve whatever you want to attract in your life. Now on the 28th is a power date. This is um, right at the end of the month there. So take note of that. That's really a power date for work and money. Now my angel advice for you is that the energy of the full moon in your sign, it's just in your sign at a, t a critical degree. It's like zero degree plus just in your sign. On the 22nd, you can get some what Oprah would say, some of those aha moments, so the moments of realization. So uh, something that's like a light globe can go off. So take note of that and take note of how you feel, not just logically think, but how you feel about it. Okay, Aquarian. Um, now your lucky numbers for the month are 8, 18, 22 and 28. And there's room there for you to put your own couple of numbers in as well. Have a great month. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.